Hi, Link Simons here. I work for the Water and Carbon Group. Uh, where we've got a uh, leachate treatment facility in Shoal Bay in conjunction with the City of Darwin. Uh, they approached us a while ago to treat a legacy leachate um, that they have from their landfill site here um, and asked us to engineer a solution for them. Initially we were looking at um, high ammonia levels in the leachate and what we've done then is we found that there was quite high PFAS levels. So we went about setting up a pilot plant um, using foam fractionation to get rid of that um, PFAS in the, in the leachate stream. That was actually really successful, which led to you know, us signing with City of Darwin to build a full-scale plant, which is where we stand today. So how does a fractionator work? What we do is we put some, an airflow into the bottom of the column, column of leachate, and that naturally bubbles up to the top through a hood, and we collect the foam that's created. Now that foam is highly enriched in the PFAS contaminant within the leachate. So we collect that foam, and we store it again. And what we can do with that is repass it through another column and again to really highly concentrate that PFAS. What we're trying to do is get the lowest possible waste stream as we can, and we're succeeding in that. This particular system is designed to run at up to 150 cubic meters per day, but again, it's completely flexible. Once we've fully treated the leachate, we irrigate it onto a bed of a crop. Bedova was chosen because of its high drought tolerance, plus its ability to uptake salts. We're always looking for continuous improvement at this plant, so we're actually running quite a bit of R&D in the background. We've managed 99% removal of PFAS and PFAR from day one in this plant. We really wanted to take that a step further, so what we've done is, through our R&D process, it's got that to absolute non-detectable. And this is via the NADA lab results, not our own.